Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can defeat zone defenses and all of the different strategies that you can use to do so. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. So first I'm just going to show you a 2-3 zone and basically to get an understanding of what a 2-3 zone really is, is just the fact that these players are not guarding an individual man, but they are guarding an individual area of the court. Any of these double team areas, actually sorry, any of these overlapping areas are double teams. And then from there, what we're looking to try and do is to get the zone defense offset either to one side of the court or over defending a certain area of the court so that we can have an easier time scoring. So the one way that you can beat a defense is by swinging the ball around the perimeter. So what this is going to do is make the players move from side to side. And then what you're going to be doing is hopefully getting enough players on one side so that when you do start passing the ball around, they're going to be frantically trying to find an area of the court to guard and sometimes that will leave a man open to take a three-point shot or possibly to be able to get a shot open from the mid range or even in the low post when it comes to then defending plays like this where we have player four who hasn't adjusted to go back to the other side of the court and we now have player three open cutting towards the rim for a layup. So swinging the ball is one way that you can beat a zone defense. Another way that you can beat a zone defense is by driving and collapsing the defense around you. So for example, if we have player one pass to player two, and then we have player one who sets a curl screen on player two. We can then have player two use that screen that's going to collapse these two players where now we may have player three open along the wing or cutting baseline, or we could have player five cutting across the baseline there, where because player five has moved up and player four has moved up, we now have a possibility of player five being open underneath the rim. Or we could have a possibility of player three being open, or if player four never collapsed, and we have now player two driving towards the rim, we now have player three possibly helping out, player four moving down towards the baseline. We have two possibilities of players being open for open shots. So there's not lots and lots of things that can happen in a, against a zone defense where we can kick the ball out. So if you can drive towards the rim, even collapse all three players down low, you're having multiple options to score. So here we are with with a 2-3 zone defense again. I could switch this up to a 2-1-2 or a 3-2, but all of the strategies are the same. Another way to beat a zone is to overload the side. So we could have player 5 cut up towards the high post, player 1 pass over to player 3. This is now going to be having the defense play and look just like so. And then we can have player 4 cut towards the low post, player four, 1 cutting out. And now we have overloaded the side. We now have three players guarding four. We can have player two at the point. And now because of this, we could have high to or a pass from player three to player five, which would then bring player five red up, which would then allow for a high to low pass to player four for a layup. So high to low passes in an overload offense allows you to score a lot easier. This could happen from the low corner as well where we would have player four guarding player one. Player one could pass the player five for a, for a mid-range shot, but then player five red might come up to guard player five blue. Player five could then pass down to player four unless player four red came down, in which case player one would be open for a three-point shot. So getting the ball into either the high post or the low post will allow you to be able to score a lot more, which then leads me in towards my next point. So let's say, for example, we're going up against another zone defense. This is a 3-2, but this, again, strategy works for every single type of zone defense. And this one is going to be feeding the ball towards the post. So we get the ball into player five. That's going to then bring player three down to double team player five. Generally speaking, this area of the court, as well as the other side, are double team locations 
four defensive players, which then leaves the wings wide open for three-point shots. So then what we're going to be having is player two open for that three-point shot from the free throw line extended. But again, we can now combine and add all of these moves and all of these strategies into one. So we can feed the ball into the low post, have player three drop down. Player five can pass up to player two. And let's say player one and three are going to head over to try and defend player two because player one was scrambling because player three was down in the post. We can now swing the ball around really quickly so that now player two is scrambling to try and get back to player three he could take that shot or we could have player five go towards the high post player one to drop down meanwhile these players are still trying to recover we have multiple options to score from we could have player five scrambling up passing the player four and then scoring so if you can feed the ball to the post you don't even have to run a play really you can feed the ball to the post have the double team kick the ball out swing the ball around get into a into an overload offense and I bet anything you're going to be able to destroy many teams that run traditional zone defenses against your team. The only real zone that this would actually still struggle against is the 1-4 zone defense that I have a book on in the description below. Even though this strategy would still tax your players a lot and would really wear out your players a lot, that zone would still do really well against this strategy. So go check that out if you want. And I will see you guys again later on today for the second video of the day.